Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a camera shake effect using Adobe Premiere. So without further ado, let's get started. So now we're in Adobe Premiere and I have here a video that we're going to be doing this tutorial on. And the first thing that we are going to do is to create a sequence. And the way to do that is very simple. All we have to do is, is just to click and drag this video to our timeline right here. And now it's created a sequence based on the details of the video, which is 1080p, 23 frames per second. And now let's just have a look on how the video looks like before adding the shake effect. So that basically how the video looks like. And now we're going to add our effect. And the first thing that we are going to do is to create an adjustment layer. And the way to do that, we're going to go right here to this panel and right click and go to new item and then adjustment layer. And then we're going to keep the settings as the same as our sequence and click OK. And then we're going to click and drag the adjustment layer above our video and add our effect on it. And the reason why we added an adjustment player is that because we don't want to put the effect directly in on our video layer because it will take us much more time to edit and add keyframes on our layer to have this effect. An adjustment layer will take us less time to do that and it will be much more faster. So the effect that we are going to put on our adjustment player is called directional plur. And the first thing we're going to do is to click on our adjustment layer and then go to the effects panel right here and look for directional plur, which is right here under video effect plur and sharpen and then direction plur and then click and drag and put it on the adjustment layer. And then we come to effect controls right here and we see our effect added to our adjustment layer. So what we will have to do is to change our lure length. The best amount I would say for this video is 40. So it depends on what your desired uh, plur direction or plur length that you want. Uh, I think 40 is good for this video. So what I want to do is I want to put our effect on the beats that we have. So here in the sound layer, you can see we can just make it a little bit bigger so we can see the beats so we can put the effect without having a hard time looking at it. And what we are just going to do is we're going to click and drag to the beat. So so now I have it on the first beat and then I'm going to cut it right after the beat finishes. So and I'm going to delete the rest of it. And now let's just see how it looks. So I'm going to read that for these three beats right here. And the way to duplicate this layer is to press Alt and click and drag to the other beat. And now we have it on the other beat. I'm just going to make it less of a seconds and then do the same process right here. And just move it right here. And then the same process again of this. So let's see how it looks. It looks really nice, but I'm not going to repeat this process for all the beats because it would look very odd to the viewer if we have too much of a shake effect. So I'm going to look for the same beat that we have here in the rest of the video. So let's listen to it and know where is the beat so we can create the same effect. So it's here. It starts from here. If you can guys listen to it. So it start from here. So this is this is the first effect. So which we can just do to put a mark on it. We just press M and that will create a mark where we should put our effect layer. And then we highlight the beats and then 
Alt, press Alt and click and drag to the mark that we have made. So, and now we can just adjust the frame to be on the same time of the beat. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And here, we'll just drag it a little bit to the left. And also here, a little bit to the left. And another time to the left. And, and it's done. Let's see how it sounds. It looks really nice. So let's just see the whole video, how it looks now. So that looks amazing. I hope this video was helpful for you and I would really appreciate it if you can smash that like button for me and I will see you in the next video.